Hi and welcome to Shrosa's classes. Today we are going to be dealing with mathematical statistics. You can call or WhatsApp at the number given on the screen or in the description below for any doubts or full videos of our courses. Let's dive into our first sum. We are given a function fx equals to x square e to power minus x. We are also given f belongs to r. We need to find the maximum value of f. In the first one, I have already marked the answer. Let's see how we to do this. fx equals to x square e to power minus x. Now, f dash x equals to e to power minus x into 2x minus x square which equals x e to power minus x 2 minus of x. Now f double dash x equals to e to power minus x into minus 2x plus x square plus 2 minus 2x. This equals to e to power minus x x square minus 4x plus 2. Now equating f dash x equals to 0, we have x equals to 0, 0,2. Now we will check 0, 0,2 by putting these values in f double dash x. Therefore f double dash 2 equals to e to power minus 2 into minus 2 which is less than 0 which satisfies our question. Also we can check f double dash 0 equals to e to power minus 0 into 2 which is greater than 0. Notice we need to find the maximum value of f. Thus at x equals to 2 maxima occurs. which is number b. So the maximum value is 4 e to power minus 2 by putting in minus 2 in our original function. Let's do another sum. An eigenvector of the matrix 1, 0, 8, 1 is given. This can be written as in the following four manners. Let's see how to figure it out. Let A equals to the eigenvector matrix. Thus, the eigenvalues of A is 1, 1. Now, if x equals to x and y, which is an eigenvector, then a minus an identity matrix into x equals to 0 that is 0 0 8 0 into x y equals to 0 0 now equating we find 8y equals to 0 thus the value of y equals to 0 therefore so a 0 in this a is not equal to 0 which is an eigenvector so one such value is 5 0 t which is our answer in number b. We have to define f and g such that r is r. Now we are given the value of fx and gx out here. x if x belongs to q and sin x if x belongs to r minus q. For gx it's x sin x 
into sine 1 by x if x not equals to 0 and 0 if x is equals to 0. Now we need to figure out what the value of fx and gx will be at x equals to 0. Is it a both f and g are differentiable? b f is differentiable but g is not g is differentiable but f is not and neither f nor g are differentiable let's see how to do this limit h tends to 0 therefore f h minus f 0 by h this equals limit h by h which equals to 1 or limit sin h by h equals to 1 according to formula therefore fx is differentiable at x equals to 0 Now we do the same for gx. Limit h tends to 0. gh minus g0 by h which equals to limit h tends to 0 h sin h sin 1 by h by h equals to 0. So, gx is differentiable at x equals to 0. Thus, from our options, it's number a, where both fx and gx are differentiable at x equals to 0. Moving on to the next. Now, we are given two series, s1 and s2. We need to figure out both are convergent or divergent or if one is convergent and the other one is divergent. Let's see how to do this. n square plus n plus 1 by n into n plus 1 which roughly is equals to 1 and n square plus 1 by n square into n plus 1 which equals to 1 by n. So both S1 and S2 are divergent. That is option D. Now let's try another sum. Now we are given an equation x to the power 13 minus e to the power minus x plus x minus sin x equals to 0. Let's find the root of this question. Let this equation be equals to fx. Therefore, f dash x equals to 13 x to power 12 plus e to power minus x plus 1 minus cos x which is greater than 0. So, if fx is an increasing function then f minus infinity is less than 0 and f 1 is greater than 0 thus f has exactly one real root